Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day! We serve an awesome, awesome God. Oh, I wish you do got too many bookmarks. Okay. So, we are. We are going to come out of the book of Proverbs, Amen. chapter 23. Proverbs chapter 23, amen? amen? And out of respect of the reading of the word, I'm going to have you rest to your feet once again. 452. 452, church Bible. Proverbs chapter 23. Tell me when you're there. Amen. You there? Amen. Amen. Proverbs chapter 23, starting at the 22nd verse. And it reads Listen to your father who begot you. Do not despise your mother when she is old. Buy the truth and do not sell it. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. The father of the righteous will greatly rejoice, and he who begets a wise child will delight in him. Let your father and your mother be glad. Let her who bore you rejoice. This is the reading of the word. Amen. Father God, we bless you, we honor you, and we thank you today. Father, I pray that your holy presence be in this place. Surround this house with the ring of your holy fire. Put the blood of the lamb over the doorpost. Father, we ask that your warring watchmen stand post at the front door and the back door. Father, I call on a legion of your warring protective healing and ministering angels. Dispatch them from the north, south, east, and west. Father, we ask that those that are at home or at work or in their vehicles, that you will cover them and keep them from all hurt, harm, and danger. We block and we rebuke witches and warlocks, dust blowers, soothsayers, sorcerers, and demonic spirits. Father, we know that there is a dark side, a spiritual war, it has no authority in this house. I ask that you will allow me to decrease as you increase. I can do nothing without you, but through you, I can do all things. I bless you, I honor you, and I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. 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 You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. <laughs> The title of this message is Oops. Mother Embrace the Truth. Mm. <clears throat> Mother Embrace the Truth. If you were here at Pearls of the King, that should ring a bell. Mm -hmm. If you were paying attention. There's something about being truthful. Mm -hmm. See, when you tell stories and you lie, you lose all credibility. Nobody trusts you. Nobody listens to you. Nobody follows you. Huh? But when you are truthful, you carry power. God is truth. Scriptures in the book of Proverbs are those that were written by King Solomon. King Solomon was the wisest man that ever lived on this earth. He was also the richest man 
that ever lived on this earth. And he was so rich because he didn't desire wealth, fame, and fortune. I want y'all to catch that. See, God knows the <laughs> desires of your heart. And those of you that are lusting and seeking riches and fame and wealth, you're seeking greed and power. And that has nothing to do with God. And because you seek those things, the devil shows up. But if you don't seek them and you just ask God, bless me with your wisdom and your knowledge and your understanding, and you really mean it in your heart, he will bless you with all those other things. Isn't that interesting? See, his ways ain't our ways. His thoughts ain't our thoughts. He will give you strategies to build businesses. He will give you ideas to create out of nothing. So the 22nd verse says, listen to your father who begot you. That means who birthed you, who created you. And your father came from his father, who came from his father, who came from his father, and so on and so on. And a lot of times, if you come from a bloodline of a bunch of men who did not serve God, there are generational curses in your family bloodline. <clears throat> 22 goes on to say and do not despise your mother when she is old you know a lot of people as their parents age they get very disrespectful they have no tolerance for them you're old and used up I don't I don't I can't I don't want to be around you when you're you know America is the only country that treats their elderly like this You don't go to no other country and see them not treating their parents with the ultimate respect. That's right. It's because America is ran by the devil. That's it. We took God out of everything. Mm -hmm. We don't love, they don't love God. They don't want God. They don't want any parts of God. So let's kill the family dynamic altogether. America has the highest divorce rate, highest rate of single mothers, highest rate of one parent households. You don't go to other countries and see that. Why is that? Because America has some ignorant people who took God out of the equation. And that's why I'm calling you ignorant. Because God said, I will not have my people to be ignorant. But when you take God out your life, you are a fool. You're a fool. You think you're smart, but you're really a fool. And everything you're trying to get on your own, it will never come to fruition. Never. Because you're playing games with, with, with the Creator. He made you. He formed you in your mother's womb. I foreknew you. I made you. And now you want to do what you want to do because I gave you free will? Go right ahead. But your life will not pan out the way you think it's going to. You will get caught up. You will end up start having fruit of the world. Sadness, depression, anxiety, fear, worry, stress. Don't love yourself. Don't value yourself. Rejection, abandonment, dysfunction. All because you don't want to serve God. Give Him your heart. So, your mother gets old. And that should be an honor. Amen. Amen. It should be an honor. 
But again, we unfortunately came from a country that does not honor God. So everything is backwards. Everything wrong is right and everything right is wrong. 23 says, buy the truth and do not sell it. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. So, so beloved, the book of Proverbs is wisdom. See, you can be smart and not have no wisdom. Wisdom is beyond being smart. Wisdom goes past the surface of what you've learned. Okay, I learned how to drive a car. No, now I want to know how to build a car. And then knowledge is, how did they have the knowledge to create the parts that needed to go into the car? So you got to have the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding. All three. You can be smart. You can be book smart and not have no common sense. You can be the smartest person in class and don't got common sense. Mm -hmm. What good is that? It's not going to do you any good. Wisdom that is attained and not given. I'm going to say that again. A wisdom that is attained, it is not given. You attain it. Anybody know the definition of attaining? It means you're learning it. You have to earn it. You have to go and get it. You have to work for it. You got to desire it. You gotta search for it. You've got to wait on it. It teaches the ability to live life skillfully. See, when you got wisdom, you don't do things the hard way. You do them the right way. And then you find that if I listen to someone with wisdom, my life would be so much easier. And if you have a mother who is wise and you listen to your mother that is wise, you will live a life that is skillful. Y'all getting anything yet? Amen. 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 If you live a godly life, things will be so different for you. See, right now we're living or trying to live a godly life in an ungodly world. And this is not an easy feat. It's so difficult that you have to exercise it daily. And every single day of every single moment of your life, you have choices and you have decisions that you must make. Will it be the right choice? Or the right decision? Or will it be the wrong choice and wrong decision? Hmm? What will it be? What will it be? Because you can make one choice and ruin your whole entire life. You can make one decision and pay for it the rest of your life. Am I talking to anybody? Amen. Has anybody in here ever made a choice or a decision and it literally altered your life? Yes. yes. Now, if you had the opportunity to go back and redo it and somebody warned you, told you, advised you not to do it, do you think your younger self would have listened then? Because you didn't have the wisdom. Amen. See, time creates wisdom. Experience creates wisdom. Trauma creates wisdom. Why do we have to go through all of these hardships to learn? 
when you can just see the fruit on the tree and say, that's a good tree. That tree got good fruit. And then that tree tries to give you a piece of their fruit and you don't even want to take it. Hmm. You don't want to eat from the tree. That is a really good tree with really good fruit. Mm -hmm. okay. Now what I just said right there, that was wisdom. Mm -hmm. Y'all have a tree with fruit. And this tree with fruit is trying to give you the fruit. And a lot of y'all ain't eating it. Because you think it's another tree with some better fruit somewhere else. And what you're looking for is going to lead you down a rabbit hole. And then eventually to hell. Come on. Ain't nothing nobody can do then. You, you're going to be crying for some fruit. It's going to be too late. Too late, too late, too late. So... In the book of Proverbs, the very first chapter, the first verse, it reads, the beginning of knowledge. Mm -hmm. The proverb of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom. See, you can hear it, but you got to receive it. You got to receive it to believe it. And believe it to receive it. Justice, judgment, and equity. To give prudence to the simple. To the young man, knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and increase learning. See, some people can hear and don't listen. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Some of y'all be listening, but you really didn't hear it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And a man of understanding will attain wise counsel. See, I, 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 done, I done told my core up enough by going to the wrong mechanic. I'm going to go find somebody that knows somebody that got cars, that cars is always running and looking in good shape. Can you recommend a good mechanic? Mm -hmm. I'm going to use understanding now. Somebody caught that. Deacon, Deacon Jermaine, you should have caught that. Deacon Lolo, y'all should have caught that. You, you see my husband always keep his car running. Deacon, Deacon Will mm -hmm. Sr., right? Deacon Sr. and, 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 and Ronald, they, they car men. Mm -hmm. And so are you. <clears throat> now, they know better. So what you gonna go do? You gonna go out and try five mechanics? Cause you prideful? You, mm. you may have. I ain't gonna ask them nothing. I'm gonna do this on my own. <laughs> or are you gonna be wise and use understanding and say, hey, Pastor Brown, where do you take your cars to? You got somebody you use? Cause your car is always functioning. It's always running. It's always maintenance. What good is having a car and it don't work? Are y'all with me? Yes. But instead of, I'm going to use you, Dick and Jermaine, since you're there. Instead of going to Pastor Brown, he decides, I'm going to go to Devontae. Hey, Devontae! Because he like him. They buddies. Where you get your cars worked at, man? Oh, man, I got my cousin down the street. You know, my cousin Kippy, who know this dude named uh, 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 Junior, that they be down at the shop. You know the shop around there, Baba? Yeah. Where everybody hang out at? Yeah. Back, back down there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they be doing cars. They do everything. Just just go. He ain't going to charge you that much. <laughs> you pull up and ain't nothing but big old oil spills in the front. Uh, five, six, half, half broke, half fixed cars. Mm. And he's talking about, oh, yeah, all you need is this part and that part. You got it? No, nah, man, you got to go get it and bring it back to me. Wow. Then when you bring it back, he's sitting there going, oh, man, I didn't see that part. And this is messed up. And the next thing you know, 
the car is in worse shape than what it was before you brought it to him. Am I, am I right? Come on. Yes. Come on. I'm trying to use some everyday analogies so y'all can get the big picture. Right, man. Hope I didn't run Devontae off. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, beloved, when you see people who are higher, and I don't mean like, oh, we're all that in a bag of chips. I'm talking about they're a little more established than you. They, they done did some things that you haven't done yet. They didn't, they didn't went places that you've not experienced yet. And you have access to those type of people? Why would you not entertain yourself yeah. Yeah. to seek them out? To learn, to better yourself. I got people who are here that I be thinking to myself, they so smart, they dumb. Mm -hmm. Can I just say it like I see it? Mm -hmm. They so smart, and I don't mean it, I'm not insulting anybody. They're not exercising the gifts that God has given them. Amen. They just sitting on them. Amen. It's not gonna just pop in your lap and you just go snap your fingers and da 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 An instant business owner, ta-da! I got the best job in the world. Ta-da! I got my house. I got my kids. I got the little furry dog with the picket fence. Ta-da! I'm living my best life. <laughs> na, 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 na. Right? No. We're not doing that. There's some things you got to go through. There's some things you got to experience. And so, if you have wisdom, you do it skillfully. So, so, he says in verse, in the verse five, or let me go back to five. A, 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 a wise man will hear and increase learning, and a man of understanding will attain wise counsel to understand a proverb and an enigma. Are y'all listening? The words of the wise. And their riddles. The fear. Why do you think Jesus always spoke in parables? Mm -hmm. He did. He always spoke in parables. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Knowledge. But fools despise what? Wisdom. And instruction. Okay, didn't I say they were some dummies? <laughs> did I not say that? Oh, Amen. Amen. What is a dummy? A fool. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't want to take advantage of the wisdom and the instruction that God has given you. And I'm not saying that to be disrespectful, so please don't. She called the whole church dummies. No, I'm not doing that. I'm trying to get us to look at us in a different perspective. See, the world has been wanting you to look at you like you could not accomplish nothing your whole life. The, the America we live in was structured to keep you in a dependent state. Right. Mm -hmm. Not to be self-sufficient, not to be self-sustaining, but to always need some help. Anybody got it? Anybody got that? Mm -hmm. Let's <clears throat> take the fathers out the whole the homes mm -hmm. and, and, and make single single mothers and now you got a single mother household I'm gonna give you some welfare but if I give you some welfare you can't never get another man or can't get married because right. if you get married right. we gonna we gonna take you off your welfare if, if you stay with us we gonna help you get a house if you get the house you can't let the man move in oh y'all y'all it's That's deep yeah. it go deep real deep so now you got children Growing up, and mama want to go get a job, but if she make too much, she 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 won't take the position of promotion because she on Section 8. Mm -hmm. She 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 don't want to rent to go out. How ignorant is that? You dumb. You being dumb. God said, I want to give you a house. I done watched it happen. I almost fell into that trap. See, I don't talk to y'all about stuff that I don't know about. 
I was number 17 on Section 8. I was the hell. I was like, whoa! We about to be on Section 8. Y'all think I'm playing. I'm not. My little time came up. I went in there to get my paperwork in, and that lady told me, you make too much money. Huh? I make too much. I'm one of the least paid on my job. What do you mean I make too much money? Are you kidding me? What, you want me to be scraggly poor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And right then and then, I heard the Holy Spirit tell me, that's all you want? Mm -hmm. You don't want nothing bigger than that? Anything you ask in my name, I'll give it to you. Amen. 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 All you got to do is believe it to receive it and receive it to believe it. Yes, yes, Amen. yes. I'm like, what in the world? Well, I want a house. <clears throat> Within 60 days of them denying me, I was sitting down checking my credit. My daughter called me. She said, what you doing? I said, I'm sitting here looking at my credit score. Was well, it good? Said, no, it was just all right. I think at the time it was like 648, which is not good. It's okay. She said, that's good enough to go get you a house? Huh? Girl, ain't nobody going to give me a house. She's like, mommy, you can go get a house with no money down. Why y'all think I told y'all? Mm -hmm. Did I not tell y'all? Mm -hmm. Did I not come back and teach y'all how to go get a house? Mm -hmm. Renee and them went and got in my house. Amen. Huh? Amen. Don't act like y'all did it on your own. Amen. Give God his glory. Amen. See, because all that, I, oh, I, I did this. <laughs> Baby. Just as quick as you got it, he will snatch yep. it back. Yep. That's why you got to keep giving him glory. And you got to keep encouraging other people. Amen. If he Amen. did it for me, he going to do it for you. <laughs> you, 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 you. You want your blessing? Yeah, yeah, Toya. Yeah. That, that should have been you before her. Because we had the same conversation. We get comfortable. We get comfortable. You don't believe in yourself. Who are you, people? He said, we are wealthy. Do you understand our father is the owner of this whole bubble? Yeah. That's like you know. Anything your heart desires, he will bless you with it. Y'all right. think I'm playing. No, playing. There are things that God has been blessing me with Behind the scenes, I'm like, I can't, whew, Jesus, I'm not going to tell nobody this is going on yet because uh, it's too good to be true. But the higher you go, the more responsibility you have. And you got to carry yourself with wisdom and share it with other people. Now, what if I would have never told nobody? Oh, they got programs. Oh, all you got to do is have a certain amount of credit score. Oh, you got this and you got that. No, no, no. That's what that's what evil, hateful, selfish, self-righteous people do. They keep it, they keep the blessings to themselves. Uh -huh. They don't want to. He said, I'm blessed to be a blessing. That's right. <clears throat> I'm blessed to be a blessing. You now blessed to be a blessing. Amen. Understand? Amen. 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 So the enemy don't want you to get nowhere. So again, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So if you ain't been listening and you ain't been following instruction, you need to ask yourself, why am I blocking my blessings? Because uh -huh. that's what you're doing. Uh -huh. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. See, mothers... Embrace the truth. Yes. They embrace it. Okay, I messed up. I missed that blessing. But you know what? I ain't going to miss the next one. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm not going to do. I'm going to get that next blessing. Amen. Lord, I'm ready. I'm going to be ready. And if I ain't ready, make sure I, I get ready. Amen. My husband always says, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Amen. Huh? So, 
Every day you got choices. And, 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 and listen, I'm going to say something. When children pay close attention to a father's wise words and their mother's instructions, it will bring them success. If you got a righteous father and a righteous mother, I'm talking men and women who are God-fearing parents. And unfortunately, a lot of us did not have that. But that does not mean your opportunity is over. Because I remember from a little girl, God telling me, I am your father now. When your mother and your father forsook you, I was there. You just got to accept me. You got to come seek me. You got to come have a relationship with me. I know you got earthly parents. But they can't give you what I can give you. Amen. Amen. I didn't have that luxury. That's why I go hard for y'all. Because I didn't have it. So now that I've got a piece of what it is to be in love and a part of this family of the kingdom of God, I want to share it. Amen. You see what it says when they listen to their father's wise words. My father is the wisest of wise. And he's bringing me success. He's bringing me success in the ministry. He's bringing me success in my relationship with my children, my grandchildren. Hopefully my great-grandchildren, my great-great-grandchildren. So, it says, adorning their thoughts with grace-filled thinking and directing your decisions to make good decisions in life. See, children need to make a deliberate effort to hear and to listen to grow in wisdom. You have to deliberately be telling yourself, I want to do better than my parents. I want to do better in life. I want to do more than what my mama did, what my daddy did. And if you have a mother and a father and they grow old, you honor them. Let me say something, what I said to the, to the lady yesterday. I ain't got to like you, but I got to love you. Now think about that for a minute. There's a lot of people I don't like, but because I'm a woman of God, I have to love them with the love of God. Amen. It's a big difference, right? Big difference. So. You may not have had the best parent, but you better honor them. Yes. Mm. Yes. You better honor them. Amen. You better do right by them. And if I didn't just display a perfect example of that when I laid my mama to rest, she left me when I was six years old. I am 54 years old and that lady has not been in my life all my life and we still laid her to rest like I loved her from not with one day missing. Yep. Apart from her. I had to honor her. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. I'm living by example. See, mothers and fathers should receive special attention. But so many choose to follow the ways of the world and dishonor <coughs> instead of honor. The fifth commandment of the Ten Commandments is to honor your father and your mother despite what you've been through with them. Huh? Despite what you've been through with them. You honor them. Like I said, you ain't got to like them. You honor them. You respect them. You respect the fact that they brought you into this world. And I had to tell myself, my mother carried a prophet in her womb. No wonder why Satan hated her. And why he led her away the way he did. 
She didn't have nobody strong enough to love on her, to cover her, to protect her, to keep her under God's uh, uh, tutelage. So she got lost. You don't know no better, you won't do no better. Amen. But 23 says, buy the truth and do not sell it. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. But let me tell you this real, real quick. When you buy something, huh? you value it more. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you something to think about. If somebody gave you something, somebody gave you a car, just gave it to you. And then you turned around. And the next car you had to buy. I bet you you're gonna treat that car that you bought way different than the one that somebody gave you. Yeah, right. yeah. Oh, everybody got that one. Huh? Why is that? Hmm? Why why do you value something that you buy versus Somebody giving you something for free. You know why? Because when somebody gives you something for free, we look at it as it's unvaluable. Mm -hmm. All right, there it is. Oh, they just gave it to me? Mm -hmm. It means nothing. But yet you don't understand what it cost them to give it to you. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Somebody had to pay for that car. Yeah. Somebody worked hard for that car. But they loved you so much they gave it to you for free. Cold game. Yeah. But you look at it like it ain't nothing. <laughs> Is it hitting home, y'all? Yeah. 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 They 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 work three years, they get the money together to buy that car. You get the car, drive it two weeks, tear up the rims on it. You done dent it the back of the back of the tailgate, cause you ain't tripping off of how you parked the car, where you parked the car. Cause you didn't buy it. You don't value it. Cause you didn't work for it. See, when you buy something, you value it more than getting it for free. We really do, and it's un it, it, it's unfortunate. And and when you pay for it, you have a deeper appreciation. And guess what? I'm I'm, I'm gonna blow your minds with this one. You will embrace it. You will protect it. <clears throat> Catch where I'm going with this, y'all. You'll embrace it. You'll protect it. You'll watch over it. You 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 keep an eye on it, right? Right. So so when it says in twenty three, buy the truth. I want you to replace that word with embrace the truth. Okay. Y'all got me? Amen. See, you gonna buy something? It's gonna mean something to you. So embrace it. So mother, embrace the truth. And stop allowing the devil to keep you caught up in the fantasies and the lies and the deceptions and see things for what they really are and start calling those things. How does scripture go? So they not, so they were. See, you don't like it? Acknowledge what it is that you don't like. Yep. So you can have God fix it. Yes. He ain't worried about what you do. He's more concerned with why are you doing it? And if you can't look at yourself in the mirror and be like, well, I, I just go in the store. Every time I go in the store, I just be stealing. Oh, Lord, I'm sorry. I stole something again out the store. God ain't tripping off you stealing. He want to know why Why are you stealing? Mm -hmm. Do you even know why you're stealing? Right. See, you're stealing because you think you're entitled to it. Mm. I deserve this. Mm. They need to give me this. I am higher than they are, and whatever I want, I should be able to get. 
Spirit of pride. Spirit of self-righteousness. So you steal what you want. If that ain't a cold spirit to have, and it is a demonic spirit. I want you to understand it's time for all of you all today to embrace the truth and do not sell it. See, too many are going to want what you have. Oh, it's coming. Some of y'all already at a place where they want what you got, but you so blinded because you still covered in somebody else's position that you don't realize the position you in, somebody is covered in you. Let that go in one ear and out the other. Did you catch it? What you got, what you ain't focused on, they want it. <coughs> but you so busy being focused on something else mm -hmm. that you missing your blessing. Mm -hmm. You want to be you in number two position, but you want to be number one. But you see how Joseph was in number two position? Mm -hmm. And God used him mightier Amen. than the one in the first mm -hmm. position. But Joseph never tried to covet number one position. That's right. David was in a number two position, but he didn't covet King Saul, he served Saul with everything he had. And God said, I'm going to give you the number one position. Mm -hmm. See, some of y'all is focused on the wrong things. And you're going to miss your blessings. Mm -hmm. You're going to miss it. He said, if you can't be faithful over the few things, I cannot make you a ruler <laughs> over much. Amen. You got to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. I got to be able to trust you with what I'm giving you. But you show up to church and don't want to follow instruction. You show up to church and you want to do it the way you want to do it. Not the way that the Lord told the pastor to do it. You got better vision than the, than the seer of the house, the shepherd of the house, the prophet of the house. You want to be disobedient. You want to get your little click in your group. And well, I know what the prophet has said, but this is what we're going to do. Happens all the time. But too many want what you have. I want to say this to all the mothers who have a beautiful family, a well groomed family, a well rounded family. Mm -hmm. They may be even a little well off. I, I, I'm going to say something, and it might surprise you. I bet you, your family is well envied too. Mm. How many people tell you and, 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 and Deacon Will Sr., you guys have such a beautiful family. You know why? They're envious. They may not come out and say that, but they envy <coughs> because they're a well-rounded family, a well-groomed family family. They're a family family. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So somebody on the outside looking in like, I want that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I desire that. <clears throat> and there are going to be some others that are going to want what you have. Okay, girls, I'm talking to the young ladies. All the ladies in the house. All the ladies. I don't even know the song, but. We don't know what you're trying to say either. We don't know what you're trying to say either. I don't know what that song is, but it's a song like that. Anywho, y'all don't even go there. I really do not listen to the music. So look, with all the ladies, all of, what is this song? All the single ladies. I know it was a song. Okay, so listen. You young ladies that are getting into relationships, that are, are starting to build your families, talking to the young women <clears throat> that are having babies, that are building, you, you two, y'all back there. <coughs> Haley, what's her name? Yeah. Praise the Lord, I got it right the first time. That's very uncommon, that don't normally happen. Uh, 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 Lily, Janiah, Chantal, 
uh, uh, Maria, who else in here? Uh, 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 Marley, uh, 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 Joyce Lynn, uh, uh, Ayana. You two, oh, okay, look our babies already. Did I miss anybody else? Hey, Shani. Hey, Shani. <laughs> and we can exclude you. So listen. No, for real. Listen, y'all, listen. Y'all getting ready to build your families. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. It's going to be people that's very close to you that are going to envy what you got. They're going to want what you have. So the minute and second they see a crack in your foundation, mm. they gonna try to crack it open <laughs> even more. You hear me? Girl, if that was me, I wouldn't let him get away with. Girl, if that was me, I would do such as, honey, if I would. Come on, am I talking to anybody? Yeah. You know what advice I told my daughter as she came off the altar? Whatever you, I swear for the Lord, let him strike me in this pulpit if I'm telling a story. The, the 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 pastor, I do I do, kiss kiss kiss, and they went to walk off, you know, and I was the first person, and I hugged both of them, and I said, whatever y'all do, keep your family and your friends out your marriage, mm -hmm. out your business, mm -hmm. and they looked at me, and I said, including me, okay. Yeah, but my mama's my best friend. You and your dude get into it one time and your mama gonna hate him forever. Mm -hmm. Keep your business to yourself. If you need somebody to talk to, you find you a spiritual counselor, a real one. Not psychic 1-800. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Well, tell me if my baby daddy is cheating on me. <laughs> How much more money I gotta give you? $9.99? Okay, hold on, let me put my credit card in. <laughs> That's what y'all do? Well. Oh, I'm getting on TikTok. That girl is live. She be doing, she be doing them little card things. Right, I'ma see what go. she got to say. <clears throat> that boy is a liar. Yeah. Let me tell you what happened to my first marriage. Somebody very close to me to, kept telling me that in my ear. Oh, girl, if I was, if that was you, I would tell. Look, we wouldn't be married no more if that was me. Now this is my elder, and I mean an elder elder, and I'm listening to this elder, and I respect this elder because you done you done been through some things. You got wisdom. So I then go to another elder and say, we need some help. I cried out. We need some help. This is going on. This man, he on drugs. There's some things going on, and I need some help. Oh, no, no. Ain't no way he's doing da, 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 da. They ignored me. They shut me down. Now I'm just floating up by myself. And every little incident, I'm going over here telling the elder, this just happened, that just happened, that happened. Everything I'm saying, every time the mountain get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. He being judged and executed all at the same time. And finally it was, girl, you know what you need to do. You need to leave him. So guess what? I did. And don't you know the, the, the divorce papers wasn't even received with the receipt letter saying that this petition has been filed yet. And I got word out of the same mouth was telling me to leave him, leave him, leave him. Girl, you was a damn fool for leaving him. That's a good man. Y'all could have worked that out. You could have went and got some help. Transform. Huh? Huh? But you said, bro, I know what I said, but that's your marriage. That part. Are you ladies listening to me? I'm giving you wisdom. Amen. And this was painful wisdom. Because I said I would only get married once. 
I wouldn't do it. When I, when I did marriage, I, I took it literal. Till death do us part. Amen? Amen. Amen. God had another plan, obviously. And that's how me and Mr. Brown got together. I was single for five years before I met him. Five years. Because I wasn't ready. I was, I, my heart was broke. Hmm. Wounded. See, there are people around you that are always telling you, you stupid. You, oh, girl, you look, you ain't that cute. Girl, you need to fix your hair. You need to fix your nose. You need to fix your eyebrows. They hate because they jealous of you. If somebody is always picking and looking for something wrong with you, that means they secretly like you for you, but they're jealous of you. Am I right? Yes. yes. Where the older women at? Am I right? Yes. 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 But you think, no, my friend wouldn't do that to me. Oh. Oh, yes, she does. That was a good one, Deacon. <laughs> See, sometimes we don't realize what we already have. I'm almost done, y'all. And I want to tell the mothers in the house today to embrace it. I want to tell you to embrace your truth. Huh? I want you to let the truth make you free. John 8, 31 through 32 says, Then Jesus said to the Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word. Hmm? That means if you live in my word. If you live in my word. Huh? You are my disciples. And you shall know the truth. And the truth shall what? Uh-huh. Make, 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 make you free. See, somebody can take a handcuff off of you and say, okay, you're free to go. And you be still standing there like it's an electric fence right there. Mm -hmm. As soon as I go out that fence, I'm going to get electrocuted. But if I make you free, I take the cuffs off and I turn the gate off, now I'm making you free. Mm -hmm. Just a big difference. Amen? Amen. Amen? Mothers, I want you to embrace the truth. Huh? I want you to follow God in all his infinite wisdom. Huh? See, mothers, God has entrusted you with raising his beloved children. Don't matter how they got here, he trusts you with them. He literally trusted you with his babies. They were in heaven. Have you ever heard of a testimony of somebody saying that they, uh, 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 the babies saw the parents before they went into the God chose your mother. He chose what baby was going to be with what mother. When you have mothers that have, I've seen mothers that have had children that have no limbs or come out with a deformity. And those mothers are the best mothers because God knew they could handle yes. the baby. Yes. Yes. With an unconditional love. Yes, yes. Not all of us was made perfect. God allows things. Because he knows you can handle it. He trusts you with his most precious gift. He trusted you with raising them. So mothers, I want you to understand it is a privilege. And it is an honor. To raise a child or children. And there are many women who were unable to have children. And I know God holds these women in a very special place. Because in Psalm 113.9, it speaks of just such women. And it says, he grants the barren woman a home. Like a joyful mother of children, he gives her things in her life 
that gives her the satisfaction of having children. Maybe you're even taking care of someone else's children. Huh? See, God knows your desires. A mother, a mother's, your instructions are priceless to your families. Your understanding is life-giving. The scripture tells, the scripture is telling the mothers to be glad. Let her who bore you rejoice. Those here who are the child of a mother. How many of you are a child of a mother? Amen. Raise your hand. <laughs> oh, y'all slow. <laughs> How many of y'all is just see? Ain't nobody paying attention. That whole three day we y'all got y'all got uh, what's that called? Recess? Not recess. Detention. 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 <laughs> All three of y'all got detention. She said why? She still don't know. I said, let me ask again. Who are the child of a mother in here? <laughs> Children of a mother, huh? Which would be all of us or none of us would be here. Right. I want to say this. Let your mother's soul be filled with joy and gladness just because of you. Amen. Just because of you. Just because of you. Because of you. You give a mother joy. Huh? Huh? That's deep. Amen. That's real deep. If you don't bring joy to your mother now, you need to pray on it. And you need to ask God to grant you the ability to do so. And remember what I said. Just honor her. Amen. 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 If you can't do nothing else, honor her. And that means respect her. Be respectful. Right? And do it before she departs the earth. Amen. See, I told you, you ain't got to like what she did or what she didn't do. Right. What she did or what she, or what she does. But you got to honor her. God used her to give you life. Yes, yes. And there was a reason. And because of the anointing and the oil on your life might be the reason why she went through what she went yes. through. Come on. I know it's why my mother went through what she went through. I know it now. Me too. I know it now. Now growing up, I didn't know that. Right. That's deep. So she went through a whole life of hardship and spiritually attacked because of me. Because she carried me. We got to do better, saints. That's right. Like I said, you ain't got to like her, honor her. And if you're not there yet, Pray and ask God to help you uh, get to that place. Mm -hmm. This is for the old and for the young. If you're a young person and you got a mother here now and y'all ain't on the best of relationships, just honor her. Pray on it. It is a tremendous reward to see a child, and we all are children. Walking in the truths of what God wanted for our lives. Do you not think that we we making God happy right now? Just us being here in church. Amen. So mothers, embrace the truth. Stop stop lying to yourself. I I, I remember talking to somebody, and I'm about this is it. Uh, I, I'm done. Her son got killed 
And all of a sudden, she went into this. He was the best kid. He was such a good guy. Everybody in the family said, that fool, what kid is she talking about? <laughs> but in her mind, she could not accept the fact And it caused pain. And God says the truth will make you free. And I, I don't, I don't know her that well, but I was ministering to her, and the Lord started showing me things about they didn't even get along. She didn't even really have a relationship. But now that he was gone, it was like. You would have thought they lived together, they vacationed together, like the way she was explaining it to me. And I'm like, it, it was hard. Because when, when I realize it, and it's like, we grieve harder when we don't accept things as they are. Mm. And that's why it was so easy for me to bury my mom. Because I accepted my truth. I accepted it. Amen. It is what it is. I can't change who she was. I can't change what we went through. Right? But I'm going to honor her. Amen. As my mother. She birthed me. Right? I hope this is blessing somebody. Amen. Amen. I really hope this is blessing somebody. Because a lot of us got mother issues. A lot of us have children issues. And we need to get that right. Amen. We need to understand that God chose you, I'm speaking to the mothers, to be blessed, to be a blessing. Huh? Amen. And now I'm going to flip it around. And the children of a mother, God chose you to be blessed, to be a blessing goes both ways. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How about that? I bet not hear about none of y'all going in no janky mechanics no more. <laughs> right. Those keys. <laughs> right here right now and we ask that the Holy Spirit will be with Sister Liz and her family cover her mother Father she had an accident and hurt her ankle I ask that you will move expeditiously by your stripes she shall be healed Father we call on a legion of angels to sustain Liz while she's at her mom's, cover them right now. Father, I lift up Tanya, and I ask that you will touch her legs right where she is at. You need to go outside, outside. Father, I ask that the Holy Spirit will move mightily 
Father, the enemy wants to touch our bodies. But your word says we've already been healed by your stripes on that cross. And I pray right now you will give her complete restoration from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Father, I thank you for those that are obedient and that fellowship with us. Father, I pray that you will go to each household and allow the Holy Spirit to move mightily. Father, bless all the mothers at home. Allow them to know that they are very special to you. So special that you bless them with a child or children. Father, I pray right now that you will loose your holy ruach over every household under the sound of my voice. That as they spend their afternoon together, Lord, that they will be at peace and that they will have a beautiful, blessed day. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fire in the name of the Holy Spirit. Right now, right now, right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Ooh, it's thick up in here. Ooh. It's thick. Anybody else need prayer petitions? You guys are more than welcome to um, send me a message. Is there anybody in the house that would like prayer?